2009 MacBook Pro keyboard replacement. Start off by shutting down and flipping over the MacBook. To remove the logic board cover, remove the seven Phillips head screws starting at the top left and going all the way around the contour of the MacBook. Once you remove the seven Phillips head screws, now remove the three long Phillips head screws. Lift up and remove the logic board cover. Before you begin, disconnect the battery. Before we begin, please note that the keyboard is located underneath the DVD drive and the logic board. Both have to be removed to gain access. Logic board removal. Begin by unscrewing the three Phillips head screws that are attaching the fan to the logic board. Lift up the fan and disconnect it. Put it on the side. Now disconnect the LBDS cable. Next, disconnect the keyboard backlight. Lift up on the latch and pull it out of its socket. Then the keyboard, lift up on that latch as well and pull it out. Next, the trackpad. Then the DVD-ROM and the hard drive. Then the EyeSight and the Wi-Fi cable. Next, the speaker. Once all the cables have been removed, go ahead and unscrew the seven screws that are holding in the logic board. These are Phillips head screws. Pry out the glued in microphone with tweezers. This might be a little difficult, but this is a very important step that cannot be skipped. Once the microphone is loose, uh, that's fine. Go ahead and lift up on the logic board pushing all the cables out of the way. Lift it in an angle. It's still connected to the DC inboard. Flip it over and disconnect the DC inboard. The logic board is now free. DVD super drive removal. Begin by unscrewing the two Phillips head screws that are attaching the speaker. Once removed, you can push the speaker out of the way. Remove the Wi-Fi cable bracket that's being held in with two Phillips head screws. Remove the three Phillips head screws that are holding the DVD drive. Lift up and remove the drive. Remove the mid wall that's being held in with two Phillips head screws, one on the top and one on the bottom. Now that the wall is out of the way, Go ahead and detach the power button. It's screwed in with two Phillips head screws. You will have to separate the Wi-Fi antenna cable and the speaker cables to get to those screws. Once those screws are removed, you can pry out the power button with a set of tweezers. Now you can pry out the three layers that are covering the keyboard. The first layer is the backlight. The second layer is the light distribution plastic layer and then the third layer is the blocking layer. The 
LED lights on the backlight go into the plastic layer and distribute light then that light is blocked off by the next layer that works as a shadow mask remove the 51 Phillips head screws this will release the keyboard it will look something like this when it's out reattach the backlight with the layers make sure to use the pinholes to align the layers correctly there's one on the left and one on the right tuck it in moving any cables out of the way once it's properly aligned you can go ahead and reattach the power button with two Phillips head screws Reattach the mid wall. It is also being held in with two Phillips head screws. You can now reinstall the DVD super drive. Place it in at an angle and drop it into its socket. Secure it with three Phillips head screws. One in the top left corner, one in the bottom left corner, one in the back. Reattach the Wi-Fi cable bracket. Secure it with two Phillips head screws. Tuck in the Wi-Fi cable into the speaker. Secure the speaker in its location with two Phillips head screws. logic board reinstallation reconnect the DC in board first insert the logic board at an angle the USB connections towards the chassis first move the cables out of the way and drop the logic board in this will take some time as there are many cables in the way make sure to try to dig them out once the board is positioned look over all the cables and make sure that nothing is trapped underneath go ahead and reconnect the seven logic board screws Once the screws have been reconnected, reconnect the speaker, then the Wi-Fi cable, reconnect the DVD drive, then the hard drive, next the trackpad, now reconnect the keyboard backlight make sure that the eyelash is up and insert it using tweezers push the eyelash down when you're done now the keyboard 
This will take some practice and is sometimes difficult to do. Use tweezers to gently help you put in the keyboard. Once it's in, press down on the eyelash. Reconnect the LVDS cable. Make sure to push down on the lever to lock it in. Reattach the fan with three Phillips head screws. Now reconnect the fan to the logic board. Make sure that the microphone is in the correct position, otherwise the microphone quality might be in jeopardy. Reinstall the LVDS bracket on top of the microphone. Screw it in with two Phillips head screws. You can now reconnect the battery. Place the logic board cover back over the MacBook. Screw in the three long Phillips head screws first. Then starting at the top left, screw in the short screws. There are seven of these. Go around clockwise around the contour of the MacBook. Once the unit is reassembled, perform a SMC and NVRAM resets. 